The Shadowhawk is one of the original mechs of Battletech. Um, and the original art is something you can find in the original Mech Warrior 1 game and also the TRO 3025. The version that you find is the SHD2H. This is kind of like the standard generic Shadowhawk. It's actually pretty good too in its combat performance, but uh, we will get to that and all its variants uh, at the end of this video. You also find it in the 3050 TRO. This one's the Shadowhawk 5M variant. It's got the uh, all the standard helm memory core type upgrades with the endo steel ferro fibrous um, etc etc XL engine it also has a fixed jump it's got 585 instead of 583 uh, so it's more maneuverable and it also of course naturally has heavier weapons um, but of course that comes at a cost which is of course higher battle value higher C bills etc just like you do with any other higher tech mech. Now let's start discussing the variants of note, though the Shadowhawk 2K, it's a PPC and LRM5, the Shadowhawk 2D, the Davian variant. Uh, this, uh, apparently this one has taken some battle damage and got taken out. There's the Shadowhawk 2D2, which is basically a more advanced version of the Davian update with the Streak SRMs. Then there's the uh, Shadow Hawk 2, uh, and now there's HB and HC. This one is the HC. And here's the uh, mech sheet for the clan version, the 2C. It's actually a different weight class, but it's got all the advanced ferrofibrous, etc. Okay, so how did all these Shadow Hawks actually do in battle? So we're going to first discount this last one since that's an experimental, uh, that's a lamb, doesn't count. Uh, this is the standard Shadow Hawk. Wind wins 50% of its battles in um, the round robin. You'll notice that the 2D and the 2D2, although they only win a small fraction of their battles, the 2D in particular is very cheap in battle value. So it actually outperforms compared to the other uh, designs because its wins per kilo battle value is 0.46. Um, its wins per ton is low because it's kind of a cheap design but its wins per mega C bill is not, not bad at 0.09 wins per mega C bill. So the, uh, the best design for, ton, for wins per battle value is either the 2H or the 2D, at least for the 3025 era. Um, you pretty much don't match it, match those two designs for battle value even with higher tech because the higher tech has higher battle value so you don't don't get enough wins out of it for the uh, battle value per ton obviously the higher tech ones have an advantage so the best ones are the like the comstar the 7cs or the 7m which you can't get in 3025 but if you're stuck in 3025 then you want this one the 2hb or possibly just stick with a 2h um because those get the best wins per ton. As far as C bills are concerned, the 2H is one of the best, as well as the 2K, the Kurita version. And um, you want to stay away from the anything with an XL engine. But in 3025, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so you'll see these. And, and the worst per C bill is the 2HC. Also, as one of the original mechs of Battletech, you get one of these. You can get a Nova Combat game for it. Um, this is, again, where you give your book to the other player and they give you their book. So you get a cockpit view, first-person shooter, 
before first person shooters and computers um, were available. So here's your first person shooter retro gaming uh, combat. The mechs themselves are uh, have battle tech stats for their weapons and armor and heat capabilities and maneuverability. And you mark down on paper as you as your mech takes damage and tracks heat. And there's all kinds of rules for multiple players and repeated combat without repair in between and even pilot XP. You can even run a campaign just using these combat books. Um, but there aren't that many combat books because there's only there's only like six of them. But I wonder if we could construct some new ones um, for the various other older or even some of the newer mechs. We probably could. As a reminder to how this works, every mech or vehicle or infantry unit in this vast list has to fight every other mech or infantry or vehicle two times. And then its wins, losses, and ties are counted up and tallied up. And how much damage it did in all the battles is averaged as a function of range. And so you'll see some of these uh, numbers are changing from simulation to simulation because as I add more mechs and vehicles, the uh, ratios of the performances have subtle changes. However, it generally does not make a variant better than another variant uh, most of the time. Unless I add a huge amount of infantry and one of the variants is good at anti-infantry, then it makes it look a little better compared to the other variants. Um, and mechs that are super powerful, like a dire wolf, will tend to win like 84% of its battles. Whereas some small scout mech might only win like 20-ish percentile of its battles. And you can get um, an idea for how strong something is as a comparison to LRM jump platoons. I've decided that that's actually a good way to compare strength. So if something is winning 50% of its battles, it's about equivalent to eight LRM, or actually eight mixed platoons of various kinds, including mechanized and other, and jump. Uh, LRM jump platoons, seven or eight, win about 34 to 35% of the time, and two would win about 13% of the time. So if you have a locust, it's about equal to about three or four LRM platoons. But um, as in real life, if you, if you have like four platoons instead of one platoon, it's not four times stronger. It's actually 16 times stronger. And that's because you have something um, it's, um, that's how defeat in detail works in the real world. And it's because you have four times as much meat, but you also have four times as much firepower. If you only increase the firepower without increasing the amount of meat or increase the amount of meat without increasing the firepower, then it would be four times stronger. But because you're four times the firepower and four times the meat, it's actually 16 times stronger. I'm assuming um, there no, there's no blocking and every everyone can shoot everything. Um, so when you see two LRM platoons and compare that to like six LRM platoons, this has roughly strength of 36 arbitrary units. This has strength of four arbitrary units. So this is actually nine times stronger than this. Um, and this is how like historical armies would win. Um, you, it's called defeat in detail. You basically take all your mass forces, you mass them together and crunch up like one third of the enemy's force. If it happens to be isolated off in a distance, you take very little loss. It gets completely obliterated. Then you go into the next third of their forces and obliterate that and then do the final third. 